dear students uh, in this uh, lecture we will discuss about the introduction of plant pathogen this is useful for both uh, the students that are under the course fundamentals of plant pathology in the second semester as well as those uh, who have the repeated course uh, in ninth semester that is introduction to plant pathogens so uh, in this uh, lecture we will uh, discuss about the pathogens so you all know any organism which uh, entices disease or which causes disease is called pathogen and uh, broadly speaking it, this term is limited to uh, microorganisms and in that case the fungi bacteria then molecules then parasitic higher plants viruses and nematodes come so in fungi again uh, there is lower fungi uh, which under broad classification comes under protozoa then true fungi that is uh, comes under oomycetes which we will we'll discuss later on then in bacteria you all know there are six uh, genera of bacteria which are phytopathogenic and cause disease to the plants these are genthomonas pseudomonas irvinia then clavivector then streptomyces then jailella then agrobacterium these are the genera of bacteria which cause diseases in plants now then molecules in molecules it it is the spiroplasma then phytoplasma then in higher plants you all know about cascuta then doder these are the then orobenki these are the the higher parasitic plants which cause damage to the plants and you all know about the virus which comes under the group uh, that is the case of borderline case which comes between the in the range of living and non living so in virus virus also causes so many kinds of disease in plant which produces yellow type symptoms which will come later on then nematodes uh, you all know that the nematodes are the active parasites which we we have discussed earlier and uh, these parasites uh, cause injury to the plants and make uh, Uh, the secondary parasites to invade the plants so uh, so these are the broad classification of the pathogens which uh, we will discuss one by one now coming to fungi fungi are basically eukaryotic achlorophyllous spore bearing organism which generally reproduce sexually and asexually and whose usually filamentous branched somatic structures are typically surrounded by a cell wall that is uh, composed of cellulose or chitin or both so uh, uh, earlier i told you that uh, the fungi comes un, uh, under new classification fungi has been classified under the kingdom protozoa in protozoa Uh, actually the they are characterized by unicellular plasmodial conolial colonial and phagotrophic organisms and in that the phylum comes myxomycota and plasmi plasmodioforomycota in myxomycota the it produces plasmodium or plasmodial like uh, structures and the genera comes oh. under this myxomycota or phygerum while in plasmodiophora it is indo parasitic slime mold and it comes under plasmodio forels and the genera is plasmodio fora plasmodio fora brassici then polymyxa graminis and spongospora subterranea you all know that the the plasmodio fora brassici causes club root of crucifers while polymyxa transmits plant viruses and spongospora subterranea causes powdery scab of potato so then uh, the next kingdom is chromista which is also known as streptomycota and in this kingdom the phylum oomycota is there uh, oomycota have been characterized by biflagellate zoospores with longer tensile type flagellum directed forward and shorter fla uh, fibrous flagellum which is directed backward then this under oomycota the class is oomycetes and Uh, in oomycetes there are three orders saprolegnials then peronospores in saprolegnials it is long cylindrical zoosporangia are there and the examples are the aphenomyces utex 
this uh, genera causes root rot of peas. Then the, in order perennosporils, the esporangia are oval or lemon shaped, produced along somatic hyphae or at the tip of hyphae of indeterminate growth. Uh, and they are set free. The family is Pithiaceae. In Pithiaceae, you, you can have the genera Pithium, then Phytophthora, you all know. Pithium, is cause, pithium causes damping of the in seedlings and Phytophthora, uh, the pathogen, uh, the classical pathogen you may call, and it causes the late blight of potato, which is caused by Phytophthora infestans. Then in family Peronosporaceae, you can have the Esporangia born on the Esporangiophores of determinate growth. While in Peronosporales, the Esporangia were uh, of the Esporangiophores were of indeterminate growth. So, while uh, discussing the classification, you will know all about the, the determinate and indeterminate growth of the Esporangiophores. Then, uh, in the Peronosporaceae family, it is the downy mildew family basically and the genera are Peronospora, then Plasmopara, then Bremia, these are the genera and you, are, you, do, you all know that downy mildew of pea is caused by Peronospora PC while uh, Plasmopara viticola, viticola causes downy mildew of grapes and uh, Bremia lectoki causes downy mildew of lettuce. So they, the pictorial classification you can see that the phylum uh, kingdom protozoa has the myxomycota uh, having phygera, then plasmodiophoromycetes having plasmodiophora, polymyxia, and spongospora. I have already uh, earlier told you. And then oomycetes, I have already discussed about the ephenomyces, then pythium, then phytophthora, then elbugo. Uh, regarding the downy mildew fungus, uh, we all know that plasmopara is there, then bremia. The disease they are co uh, they cause in the plants, then Peronospora, Pseudoperonospora, Escalorospora. These are the downy mildew fungus. Then, then the kingdom fungi, uh, third kingdom fungi, it comes under uh, there are two gen classes that is Chytridiomycetes and Zygomycetes. In Chytridiomycetes, uh, you can have the Olpidium, then Physoderma, then Synchytridium. You all know the, about the Olpidium, Olpidium brassici. Olpidium brassici causes uh, club, uh, club root of cabbage, then Phyoderma medis. You can, you, in maize, medis, uh, in, in maize, brown spot of maize, it is caused by, bro, it causes brown spot of maize, Phyoderma medis. The, the brown spots appear on the midrib of the, of the uh, leaf. And it is the distinguishing character here. And while in Zygomycota, it produces uh, non motile asexual spores in Esporangia, and no Jew spores are produced in case of Zygomycota. Uh, uh, earlier, I told you that th there were three family that is Pernosporaceae, then uh, other family Albuginaceae. In Albuginaceae, the Esporangia are born in chains and and the family, the genera in this family is Elbugo candida, which causes white rust of crucifers. So these, these are all about your, your zygom, zygom, in zygomycota, it is zygomycetes, in zygomycetes, it is mucarial disorder, in which rhizopus and mucor comes, and rhizopus causes soft rot of fruits and vegetables, and mucor causes bread mold and destroys a lot of fruits. So these are the examples. Uh, it should be borne in mind that in in the in the examination, the the fill up the blanks as well as multiple choice questions uh, generally come from these parts. So so I have detailed it in in, in uh, keeping it in view. Next is the another is generalized coenophora coenophora causes soft rot of a squash. In zygomycetes, there are two orders, that is, that is mucarels and glomels. I have already discussed about mucarels, uh, that is causing disease in, uh, disease in the vegetable, uh, fruits. And then in glomels, uh, basically, 
it is the glomerulus form vascular or vascular mycorrhizae with roots of uh, roots of the higher plants known as endomycorrhizae and arbuscules produced in the host roots so glomus uh, gigaspora and echoloespora are the genera uh, in this uh, global order dealing to the ascomycota uh, this is also known as sac fungi most of have sexual that is teleomorph uh, ascospores usually eight in one ascus and asexual that is anamorph uh, that is asexual spores also known as conidia on free hyphae or in asexual floating body so first class is archae ascomycetes uh, and this uh, produce the naked si and si arising from binucleate ascogenous cells and the genera is tephrina tephrina causes two diseases that is peach leaf curl and uh, leaf blotch of onion and next class is saccharomyces it it also produces naked si no ascocar produced and unicellular fungi reproduced by budding the characteristic feature of the the class saccharomyces that it reproduces by budding so the you all know uh, saccharomyces cerevisiae is bredest then galactomyces causes citrus sour rot then the third class is filamentous ascomycetes uh, so filamentous ascomycetes in this uh, the order is erysiphels the erysiphels order the si in fruiting body completely si are produced in the fruiting body which are completely closed that is called clistothecium completely closed ascocarp is known as clistothecium so so the basically the erysiphels order contains the powdery mildew genera so while if we will depict the picture later on we will see the structures of the clistothecium and the the in clistothecium there are mycelial appendages which uh, describe or which distinguish the gen, uh, differences between the genera it may be erysiphe or levillula or mycosphera or podosphera the the clistothecial appendages distinguish the genera so erysiphe already i have uh, told you that the genera is powdery powder mildew fungus genera so these cause powdery mildew disease in different crops and the erysiphe polygony causes uh, powdery mildew of tea uh, of pea then levillula tomato then microspora in relax uh, like that then the the other order is the other class is the pyronomycetes the pyronomycetes are known as ascomycetes with perithecia or in some groups it is having clistothecia also so in that uh, class the order is hypocreals in hypocreals order the si ovoid to cylindrical with apical pores ascospores spherical to needle like discharge forcibly and conidia produced from phyalidic conidiophores the genera are hypocrea ophiostoma cirrhotocystis fusarium the perfect stage is gibberella and verticillium so these are the genera i have already i have already detailed about the the the, the ascomycetes with naked si that is saccharomyces and tephrina then powdery mildew fungus that is clisto uh, the the ascomycetes with completely closed ascocarp that is uh, clistothecia which are produced in erysiphe then sphaerotheca then microsphera then podosphera then phylactina then ancinula ancinula you might have heard about the powdery mildew of of uh, powdery mildew uh, already i have discussed that uh, powdery mildew of grapes are there and it is caused by ancinula nicata then then earlier then i have discussed the perithecial ascomycetes under this group cirrhotocystis then diaporthe then cryphonectria then glomerella uh, the perfect stage glomerula they, uh, uh, is there uh, and the then gnomonia then the hypogylon then phylacora then rosellinia then leucostoma these are the genera then claviceps nectria and gibberella these are the these are the genera under this 
we have already discussed the gyleria, then cryphonectria, then hypogelon, rosalina. Now, now uh, another uh, group is loculoescomycetes. Locule, uh, loculoescomycetes. Locules means cavity. So, esco, esco in the SI, pro, when the SI is produced in cavity or locules, it is known as, uh, loc it, it comes under loculoescomycetes. And, uh, and in this, uh, the dothidials orders are there, in which the Mycosphrella, then Mycosphrella musicola and Mycosphrella physinensis causes cigatoka disease, then leaf spot of cereals and grasses, Mycosphrella gramnicola, then leaf spot of uh, strawberry, Mycosphrella fragile, uh, uh, its anamorph may be Sarcospora, Septoria, and many others. So, then the, the Alcinoid. Alcinoe causing the citrus escape, then grape anthracnose, Alcinoe empelina, raspberry anthracnose, Alcinoe veneta. These are the diseases that comes under this pathogen, Alcinoe. Now the order is, next order is capnodials. The capnodials order are characterized by the escocar that is superficial, produced in a loose mat of dark hyphae. The genera is capnodium being one of many fungi causing sooty mold on plants. Then, pleo, then the next order is Pleosporales, the SI surrounded by Pseudoparaphysis. You all know about the paraphysis and Pseudoparaphysis when we will discuss the, the structures uh, uh, in the next class. Uh, under this, uh, uh, the, the genera are Cochleobolus, whose anamorphs are bipolaris, then Carbularia. It causes uh, leaf spots and root rots in grain crops and grasses. Then Pyrnophora, which anamorph are dredges lera, uh, causing leaf, leaf spot on cereals and grasses. Then Cetoespera, the anamorph is Exerohelum, causing leaf spot on cereals and grasses. Then Pleospora, its anamorph is Stemphylium, causing black mold of um, black mold rot of tomato. Then Leptoesphera, its anamorph is Foma, causing black leg and foot rot of cabbage. Uh, again, Venturia, its anamorphs are uh, Polysia and Espilosia, uh, uh, causing apple scab. Uh, you might have heard the pathogen Venturia in Equalis. In Equalis. Uh, then Pier scab, Venturia pyrenia. Vignardia, which anamorph is Phylosticta, causing black rot of grapes. Apios porina. So, Again, you, you can see, uh, I have already discussed in uh, pictorial diagram also, it, it is the esco, escormatic uh, escomycetes, and under that the el Elsinoe and uh, Dibotrion, the micro, uh, micro uh, oilus, then Gugnardia, Microsphorella, then these are the pathogens, then Venturia, under the group Cup Escomycotina, it is Blumeria, then Diplocarpon, then Hypoderma, then Lipodermian, then Monilinia, uh, Ritisma, Escalotinia, these are the pathogens. And under uh, the class Discomycetes, the, that is Escomycetes with Apothecia, Escocarp, shaped like cup, saucer, or cousin. Uh, called apothecia, SI cylindrical to avoid often interspersed with paraphysis. The escospores discharge forcibly. We, you, we all have discussed about the right edge males. Uh, the escocarp are black, spherical, disquiet or elongate and are produced in astrobeta. SI variable, escospores haline to brown or white to filiform. The genera is hypoderma, lipodermium, Rhabdocline, Rhytisma, already discussed, then in Helocials also, it is Apothecia, cup or disc separate, SI, SI with, with only slightly thickened uh, epices, Escoespores and, uh, are spherical, elongate to filiform and have none to several septa. The genus are Monilinia, Escrotinia, uh, Estromatina, Pseudopagesia and Diplocarpon. We have already discussed through pictorial diagrams also and the diseases that are caused by them. So, dear students, now the next is next is Deuteromycetes. It comes under Deuteromycotina and you all know it is also known as mitosporic fungi 
and uh, imperfect fungi or asexual fungi. So, so this this is purely a temporary class. Uh, actually, the genera, those perfect stage are known, uh, are placed under either Escomycotina or Basidiomycotina. Uh, but so when the this is the purely temporary class. Whenever the, the perfect stage of the particular genera is known, it will it will come under the either either Escomycotina or Basidiomycotina. So 95% of the genera belong to will belong to uh, to Escomycotina, and only 5% belongs to uh, will uh, uh, till now belongs to Basidiomycotina. So under anamorphic stage, the gen genus is Geotrichum. Then other Penicillium, Aspergillus, Pesilomyces, Pydium. So the perfect stage comes under the Cristocecial Escomycetes. Now the the perithecial escomycetes under perithecial escomycetes, it is Calera, Acrimonium, Esporo, three Thrix, and Graphium, then Verticillium, Fusarium, and Colutotrichum. These come under these all genera come under perithecial escomycetes. Now Loculo, the, the Sarcoespora, then Septoria, then Phyllosticta, then Alternaria, Stemphylium. Bipolaris, Dresslera, Exorohilum, Carbolaria, all, all genera comes under, uh, all genera perfect stage comes under loculoescomycetes. Now, now the, the, the genera Botrytis, Monidilia, um, Marsonia, then Intomosporium, then Syndrosporium, Melancodium, these genera, the perfect stage of these genera comes under epothecial escomycetes. So, so you you all know the conidia of distinct behavior that is conidia uh, what how they look like in apothecium in upper acervola in pycnidia the, how the conidia are produced they, they are depict, de, depicted in the pictures now the last genera is basidiomycetes so, so ascomycetes like in Escomycetes, what happens? The SI are formed. And uh, in SI, uh, uh, Escoespores are produced endogenously. While in Basidiomycetes, the, it is uh, the Basidium on which uh, Basidiospores are produced, uh, which are ectogenously produced. So these are the basic difference between the, the Escomycetes and Basidiomycetes. Now, now, under Basidiomycetes, uh, the genera Rhyoctonia, Rhyoctonia causing the Rhyoctonia solenai causing root rot and stem rots, the perfect stage Thanatophorus. So, uh, you all know this is also a, a, a genera that, that is the Rhyoctonia coming under the, the genera Deuteromycotina, under Deuteromycotina, but the, when the perfect stage is known, it comes under Basidiomycotina. Uh, Basidiomycetes and the the perfect stage is Thanatophorus. So, and the Rhyoctonia solenoid comes under Thanatophorus, where the Rhyoctonia binucleate forms comes under Ceratobasidials. Then Escalerosium, you know Escalerosium rolfsi causing blights in many crops, and its perfect stage is Ethelium. Now, phylum Basidiomycetes, uh, it is Basidio. My earlier I told you that Basidiomycetes it, the under it comes uh, there is club fungi, then mushroom fungi, then the Basidiospores uh, are produced ex externally on club like uh, structure that is one or four cells, uh, spore producing structure that is called Basidium. I have already discussed, discussed. And under this uh, basidium mycotina, there is two order that is eustilaginels and uridinels. In the eustilaginels, it is the smart fungi genera, and in a smart fungi, fungi genera, uh, you can have the genus eustilago, then tilicia, then eurocystis. These are the genera you all know. Eustilago treatise in Nuda treatise causes loose smut of feet, while tilicia carries the smut or burnt of feet. Then uh, Eurocystis causes the smut of onion. So you you only uh, need to know about the the genera and what uh, diseases they are causing. Uh, it will be asked. Then 
esporisorium, then uh, uh, then espacillotheca causing head asthma. Then in oral urodinals, it is basically the rust genera. It is it is the fungi belonging to rust fungi in this in this order. And you all know uh, that the rust in rust it is Paxinia, then Euromycete, then uh, Melamsora. These are the genera which causes region rust. So you all know the the stem rust of wheat or uh, orange rust of wheat or brown rust of wheat. These are uh, all are caused by by Paxinia graminis, Paxinia recondita, and Paxinia striformis. Then uh, it is, the next genera I have I have told is Euromyces. Euromyces fabric causes rust of lentil, then uh, rust of fava bean. These are then Melamsora, the Melamsora vini causes the rust of linseed. Then Phacopsora soybean rust. Then Phragmidium causes of uh, the rust of roses. The, these are the these are the rust genera. Then the the other order is Uridinals, Uridinals, and the third order is Exobacidials. In the, in this particular order, the basidiocarp is lacking in basidia produced on the surface of the parasitized tissues. In that case, it is the Exobacidium and Ceratobacidials. Okay. The, the genera is Ethelia, then Thytophorus, then Typhula, these are the genera. And the next order is Agaricales. You all know Agaricales, under Agaricales, it is the mushroom fungus, and the basidium with cross walls and produced on the radiating gills or lemini. Many are mycorrhizal fungi also. And in this particular genera, it is uh, Armillaria bilia uh, and other species causing uh, root rot of trees. Then, uh, then marasmus causing fairy ring disease of tarp grasses. These are the these are the genera. Now you all know about the mushroom that is pleurotus, then agaricus, then so pleurotus causing white rot on logs and tree stumps and living tree. Uh, it also causes disease also pleurotus. So a file under order a phylloporeus. The basidia without cross walls and produced on hymenium forming hyphae and lining the surface of the small pores or tubes. Under this, it is the generalized ethelia causing root and stem rot of many plants, then chondroestrinium, then corticium, then ganoderma, then postia, then peniophora, then polyporus. These, these are the genera which come under the groups. Now, now, regarding uh, bacteria, which earlier I told you that uh, the bacteria are the organism uh, which cause, also cause diseases in plant and the bacteria are of two kinds. One is gram-positive bacteria and other is gram-negative bacteria and it can be identified on the basis of a staining which is developed by Christian Gram in the year 1864. So, uh, so agrobacteria, uh, vector. Then Irvinia, then Pseudomonas, then Genthomonas, then Estrotomyces. Yeah, there are six genera. Out of six genera, two genera that is Clivibacter and Streptomyces are gram positive bacteria uh, causing, uh, causing disease in different crops. And then ag Agrobacterium uh, causing crown galls, twig galls, cane galls, and hairy root in different crops. And then uh, Pseudomonas, uh, leaf spots. Built, etc., are caused by blights, are caused by pseudomonas genera, and you all know streptomyces scabies, that is potato scab, soft rot diseases, um, then, then genthomonas, genthomonas citri, genthomonas citri, citrus canker, uh, disease caused, then walnut blight, bulb rot, then Black venison. You might have heard the uh, disease, uh, black rot of cabbage. It is it is caused by uh, genthomonas. And uh, in what uh, happens in the club, uh, in the black rot of cabbage, the venison becomes black. 
So, so you can you can see you can see venation becomes black in, in case of black black rot of cabbage. So these are all about uh, you you can see other genera is rhizobium which is which is not pathogenic. It is it is the symbiotic bacteria which inhabits the in the root of leguminous plant and making the nodule. So nodulation are there and it is it is helpful in the in the fixing of the nitrogen. So these all about the introductory lecture about the bacteria and we will detail it in the in the other lecture. Now now virus. You all know that viruses generally plant viruses are having the combination of uh, RNA and uh, the RNA is of two kinds, uh, single stranded RNA or double stranded RNA. And then if the transcription follows the molecular dogma, it is, it is positive sense RNA and it is reverse, if it is reverse transcripted, then it is, it is negative sense RNA. So, uh, so accordingly, you, you, have, you have so many examples and will, uh, the Kudasar has already discussed in his lecture, so we will detail it in the later lectures also. So with this we end the lecture. Thank you for present hearing.